Sarah, what are we doing out here? So we're doing horseshoe crab surveys. We're trying to quantify the number of horseshoe crabs that are spawning on beaches in Wellfleet. All right, we don't want to hold you up, but let's just talk for a second about horseshoe crabs. They're just kind of cool. Yeah, I like them. They think that the um, actual species, Limulus, Polyphemus, the one that we're looking for today, um, is about 20 million years old. We do surveys around the new and full moons, and today is actually, well tonight, um, will be the new moon for May. And um, horseshoe crabs, supposedly it's been found through research that horseshoe crabs spawn during um, new and full moons. And it's not really clear if it's because of the moon or if it's because of the higher high tides that are produced. According to the Mass Audubon, in Massachusetts, horseshoe crabs are harvested for bait and their blood is the source of a chemical used to test medical devices and injectable drugs for toxins. Apparently, dwindling populations of horseshoe crabs seem to make it a good idea to get some baseline population numbers for the animal. State, local, and other entities have been involved in the horseshoe population project for a number of years. What? We have some action? So the bigger females in the front and then the smaller males in the back and they're actually actively laying eggs right now and the way I can tell that that's happening is because I don't know if you can see the bubbles coming out of the female. See how she has bubbles coming out on either side? Oh, they just stopped. Oh, there they go again. Does she dig in more, Sarah, too? Look at the front. Does yeah, she yeah. dug in a little she's bit? She's dug lay? in a little bit. And to then lay? what yeah. she'll do is when she's done laying the eggs, she comes out of the nest and she'll drag the male over the eggs. And when he chemically senses that he's over the eggs, that's when he releases sperm. And so in theory, if there were some other males around here looking for love, they could come in and also try to, you know, position themselves into the best position. And um, it's been found through studies that, you know, males, even if a male is not in the best position, he can still fertilize up to 40% of our eggs. So it's a good life strategy. The best time to go to the beach and find horseshoe crabs is when the lilacs are in bloom. That's the best indicator. Do you think they're related somehow? Lilacs, horseshoe crabs, and some big plan? I think the whole world and every species in it is connected. <laughs> 